as we won't be opening for the National Garden Scheme this year, next Sunday, the 21st of June, I thought I'd give you a virtual tour of the World Garden at Larringston Castle. Through the Victorian Moon Gate we go, into the World Garden, laid out as a miniature map of the world, with plants planted in their miniature native lands. Past Scotland we're going, towards Scandinavia. Lovely, fantastic fever few from Scandinavia. Mullions, wild roses, doing pretty well this year. As we go along the oceanic pathways, which are crushed granite, we're going to get this lovely, lovely broom. So Titus nigricans has spread of about seven and a half foot, this plant. Magnificent thing. Down the path we go, on the left hand side we've got gorgeous duchessy de Nemoise. Lovely herbaceous peony. Sarah Bernhardt flopping down on the floor. I haven't staked it this year as we haven't been open. I've been a bit lazy. And down to here, Centranthus ruba, the false valerian in red, white, and pink. As we turn around to Russia, Sakhalin, far northeastern Russia, swiftly head towards parts of China and to the Tibetan region where we have this lovely silky to touch Tibetan cherry lovely bark on the Tibetan cherry and to my left fragrant headily fragrant trusses on the rhododendron here this one flowers when very very small in the background you can see lots of lovely bamboos heading towards Japan on my left China on my right and South Africa in the background. Leaving the subcontinent of India here, you'll see Colin the Cobra. It is huge fangs and white and brown eyes. Betula utilis, Varjat Montii. That's Tibetan Himalayan silver birch. And then to South Africa we go with Osteospermums, Opium Poppy, Papavea Somniferum, Busy Lizzies, just planted out, and Passion Sodenii, and then gorgeous red hot pokers, and Dirama, Pulcherimum, the Angel's Fishing Rod. And we're going to make a bit of a swift movement past the island of Tasmania with our national collection of eucalyptus trees heading past the Cape, southwestern Cape here of South Africa leaving behind the Drakensberg mountain range heading to the mini Alpine garden with a miniature model of the globe there Alpines from around the world to South America Wow, lots and lots of Scissorinchium striatum around the South American sign there. Pampas grass, Berberus, Escalonia, Solanum, purple hues of Solanum. And our final destination is the hot and spiky cactus house. It looks absolutely wonderful. So many things coming into flower or are in flower. Wow, it's so much hotter in here. I just absolutely loving these conditions that we've had this year. There's a Garvey attenuata on my right, squeezing past the agave, down past some very, very prickly pears. Aeoniums on my left, the Canary Island section, lovely agaves, and the final destination at the end of my virtual tour for the National Garden Scheme is an exploding volcano.